Everton are reportedly interested in signing Rem midfielder Amir Richardson. Uh, Rem are expecting around €12 million Euro for the 22-year-old uh, Everton. Face competition from Ajax, Roma, Fiorentina. There's also a couple of Premier Leagues, as Leicester City, one of them credited with an interest and in he scored three goals last season but he is a defensive midfield player I like him I've been going on about him all through the summer saying Everton should go for him uh, so I'm happy with this link whether anything progresses with it I've no idea I hope it does because we have to look at the position Everton are in right now centrally we've got rid of Amadou Onane and obviously Tim Iribunum's coming fine but we've got Adrissa Garner Gage 35 and as good as he is, and he's still, in my opinion, Everton's best midfielder, you'd also have to make, um, you've got to make the provisions for that. James Garner's injured at the moment. We don't know how long that's going to be. And Abdullah Decore keeps getting linked with moves away. It's a Saudi, the Saudi Pro League. So I think Everton do after almost future-proof themselves. And I think a signing like this for around that, 11 12 million euro would be a good would be a good deal for us he's a player i think who physically six for five i think could come in and do the job he's got good feet a uh, good passion range i think he could come in and do well he's one of those players that i think you would make money on as well and i'm hoping that everton's interest is firm in this player and i'm hoping that we can raise the funds to uh, to do a deal for riches and i think he'd be a good acquisition for sean dyke uh, Everton again today linked with Chelsea striker Armando Breuer. He has been in the US playing uh, with uh, Enzo Moresco's team. It's his own team, of course. He should be there. But he's going to apparently hold talks with Moresco now that they're coming back from their tour. He wants to know where he is, uh, is in the pecking order. But the reality is Chelsea are looking to move him on. Everton were very interested in taking him in June and it looked as though Dominic Calvert-Lewin would be leaving the football club. Chelsea are just about to sign Samu Omarodian from Atletico Madrid. I would have loved Everton to go and get him. So therefore, there's quite simply not going to be any space really for Breuer. They've also brought Mark Gouy in from Barcelona, not sure whether he'll go out on long yet, but they've got lots of attacking options. Chelsea also li linked with Victor Osserman as well, of course, who'd be an incredible signer for them, but not sure if that will happen. So Breuer is definitely surplus to requirements, and I think if Everton were to sell Dominic Calvert-Loon, they'd have already got, like I say, they'd have already gone and sorted that Breuer deal out, so... We'll have to wait and see whether this progresses. It is, I think, where Everton are right now doing any of these kind of deals is dependent on getting people out the door. We know that Michael Keane, Mason Holgate, Neil Mopai, Dominic Calvaloon, all in the final sort of 10 months of their Everton contracts and the Blues will be open to all of them leaving should they get bids for them. So we'll have to watch that one with interest. Everton again also today linked with a move for Hellas Verona. Uh, right back, Jackson Tatua. He can also play right wing as well. Again, the fee for him is relatively modest. I think they're looking for around 9 or 10 million euro as well. For him, a 22-year-old, very, very quick. I think he would really improve Everton. He is a right back, like I said, but also can play right side of midfield as well, or right wing. Um, and Everton do seem to have... An issue at right back, don't they? Nathan Patterson hasn't played any time, any game time yet in pre season. He's still recovering from a bad hamstring injury he suffered at Chelsea last season, missed the Euros, of course. Seamus Coleman did return against Motherwell in that behind closed doors friendly yesterday, but he's had a heavy knock recently. And the only other one we've got is, of course, Ashley Young, who also plays at left back. So I think, you know, Everton do seem to be looking at, at a right back. Although for me, Roman Dixon's done really well in pre-season and I wouldn't want a tumor to stop his progression, but like I say, he can play higher up the pitch as well and he is very, very quick. So we'll see if anything comes of that. Certainly the Italian press seem to be pushing this one uh, as the weeks go by. And finally, former Everton midfielder and England under-21 manager Lee Carsley is set to take charge of England's Nation League games next month against the Republic of Ireland and Finland. So good luck to a former Toffee there. That is it for the news daily. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching. See you later.